Hi class, are you ready to learn? Let's start! Hello, good day! So for today, we are going to discuss on how to measure your heart rate. There are different ways on how one can measure his or her heart rate. And we will begin with resting heart rate or what we call the RHR. By the way, what is an RHR? RHR is a number of beats per minute commonly measured while lying down or right after you wake up in the morning. How are you going to start this? To measure RHR, lie down on a flat floor for 3 to 5 minutes. Ayan, ang RHR daw ay ang pulso o ang tibok ng ating puso na kinukuha pagkagising natin sa umaga o hindi naman kaya kapag tayo ay nakahiga. Paano mo ito gagawin? Humanap ng isang flat na lugar kung saan maaari kang makahiga. Again, flat space, meaning you will not be using any pillow. Hindi ka gagamit ng unan para sa ulo mo. You are going to lay flat for 3 to 5 minutes. After that, using your fingers, locate any pulse site of your choice and count the beats for 10 seconds. Okay, assume natin that you are now already laying flat on the floor o nakahiga ka na. Using your fingers, locate your pulse. Yan, nalocate ko na. Okay, let us now count 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Assuming na ang nakuha ninyo na pulse rate ay 11. You are going to multiply it with 6. 11 times 6 is equals to 66. Alright, so meaning your RHR is 66 beats per minute or 66 BPM. That's the first way on how to measure your heart rate. Let's proceed to the second one. How are you going to measure your heart rate? We have this so-called maximum heart rate or MHR. How are you going to compute MHR? By the way, MHR is the maximum heart rate, which is the so-called the fastest and the hardest your heart can beat in a minute. It can be measured by subtracting 220 with your age. Okay, magbigay tayo ng example. Halimbawa, 12 years old ka. Let us subtract 220 with your age. 12. 220 minus 12 is equals to... Right! 208. So, ibig sabihin, your MHR or your maximum heart rate is 208 beats per minute. Number three, choose your target heart rate of train or training heart rate. Ayan, ano nga ba itong tinatawag na training heart rate? Ito naman yung heart rate natin during exercise or during any type of physical or active activity. With the range of your age, let's say you are junior high school, grade 7, we are going to use 65 to 85%. Ayan, so paano nga ba makocompute ang ating heart rate when we are active? Ang lower limit natin ay yung 65%. Ang upper limit naman natin ay yung 85%. Kanina, 
kinumpyut natin yung heart rate niyo or yung MHR based on your age. So, ang sagot doon is 208, di ba? So, try natin ni compute. Here is the sample computation for this one. So, for our lower limit, 208 times 0 0.65 is equals to 135.2. Para naman sa ating upper limit, 208 times 0 0.85 is equals to 176.8. Saan nang galing yung 0 0.65 at 0 0.85? Doon yun ang galing sa range natin na 65% to 85%. At mula sa sagot, no 135.2 at 176.8, Ang target heart rate mo ay 135 to 177 BPM or beats per minute. So, paano nga ba natin makukuha yung inyong target heart rate? Siyempre, this is through exercise. But always remember, in exercise, there are three phases. The first one is the warm-up phase or the first phase of the exercise. It consists of light physical activity for 5 to 10 minutes. Don't forget to do the warm-up para mas maging maayos ang iyong pag -e exercise The next one is the exercise or the workout. This refers to the type of activity or exercise that you are planning to execute. And it depends on your objective kung ano yung gagawin mo per day na exercise. And lastly, of course, after exercising, don't forget to cool down. Cool down is the transition between exercise and rest. This prepares the body to deter the pooling of blood in the lower extremities. Ayan. So I hope that through this simple tutorial, nalaman ninyo on how to I measure your heart rate. Matatagpo ang lahat ng diniscuss ko in this tutorial to our quarter 1, module 2, MAPE from the Division of Quezon City. Thank you very much po and I hope that you will click subscribe and at the same time, please like this video and share. Of course, para naman po ma-share natin yung simple kaalaman na nakukuha natin from our modules. So thank you and stay safe everyone. God bless!